Alright guys, so I'm so excited. We're getting ready to head to the Sephora VIP Rouge. Um, I'm really excited, but I'm not sure if I really should be excited because they're always out of everything, so I always get my hopes up. But I'm going to go meet up with my girlfriend, so I will bring you guys along. Hopefully they're not out of everything. So if they are, I'll probably be disappointed because that always happens to me. I have the worst luck, so I'll see you guys soon. You hear my crazy baby? Yeah. Get some of that. She loves to growl. She is like the baby Hulk. Gotta know though, what do you guys think about sunglasses like this? I feel like I like them in pictures, but I feel like I look like an idiot in real life. Like I feel like I look really fucking stupid. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If I need to grow up and move on with my life or if I should keep wearing these. Let the bitch know. You ready go shopping, huh? You wanna go to the makeup store? You wanna go get lipstick? Yeah, you know. You know what's up, homie. Yeah, girl. We gonna go shopping, get some lipstick. So I'm home and a little bad news. I went there, I get up to the cash register, I have everything, and they told me, guess what? You're not a VIP Rouge member anymore. So apparently you have to spend $1,000 a year, and if you don't spend that $1,000 within the year, they bump you back down, but they don't tell you about it, which is really awesome. So you think you're getting this discount, but you're really not because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really keep track of each dollar I spend at Sephora. Um, I've been an Ulta girl lately and this kind of just reminded me why I'm an Ulta girl. Um, I just feel like Ulta has better deals. I feel like they don't keep you in the dark about things um, and I feel like they're not out of stock as much as Sephora is. So I get up to the counter and they're like, oh, so sorry. I mean, the lady was super, super nice. You could tell she felt really, really bad. Um, she kept telling me, we could just save this aside for you for next week when they have the 10% she is not happy with me in there. So anyway, the lady was super nice about it because she felt really, really bad, which it's not her fault, so I'm not mad at her. It's just kind of annoying that Sephora like, just like doesn't tell you, hey, we're bumping you back down, or they don't send you an email like, hey, you haven't spent you know, 300 points, and if you don't spend this 300 extra, extra points, we're gonna bump you back down. Like, there's just like no warning about it, so I went in there not knowing. Um, but then when you are a VIP Rouge member, they make a huge deal of it. So I just think it would be nice if they could just like let you know what's up. Cause I mean, it's a quick email, you know, they get you on a loop. It's not that hard to put your email on the loop. I, I mean, that's what I'm assuming. It just, I don't know, can't be that difficult to like give a heads up to your members. Obviously if they're spending a thousand dollars a year in there, um, I think it just would be appreciated if they could do that. You know, but I ended up buying what I wanted anyway, just because I don't know. I wanted it obviously, so it's a really matter anyway. It just would have been nice to get that 15% off, right? Mm. All right. So starting out, the first thing I got were these rose makeup wipes, and I like I said, I've been a Sephora girl lately. Sephora girl lately. Um, but one thing I do love about Sephora is all their sheet masks. I think their sheet masks are awesome. They rock and they're a really great price. So when I saw these wipes in that section, I was really excited um, because the Neutrogena wipes kind of sometimes burn my eyes. And I did use one of them when I was at lunch today. I didn't use it on my eyes, but I did use it on my lips. And it felt like nice and hydrating, so I'm excited to use these on my face. Then next up, I got the Kat Von D, um, the ink liner. Really excited to use this. I have been a NYX Precision Girl. I'm like so annoying because once I love something, that's like all I use. I can't like stray away. Um, but I did use two tubes of it and I was like, girl, try it. time to try it. like branch out, find something new. I love all Kat Von D products. I literally have nothing bad to say about them. So I was, when I was in there, it was like Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, um, Kat Von D and like two other liners maybe of all like their best selling. And I was like, I gotta get Kat Von D because like I said, I never have anything bad to say about it. I feel like all of her products are really awesome. So I grabbed it. 
Um, when I did swatch it, it is a little bit glossy. Um, it's not that matte, but that's kind of what I like. Um, if you want to make it matte, you can always put shadow over top of it. Then my girlfriend talked me into getting the Brazilian Bum Bum. It smells really amazing. She said it's caffeinated, so it's supposed to like lift and like get rid of fat. Um, so my bum bum isn't that fat because I got a white girl butt, so I have a little bit of a flat back going on, so I don't really got to worry there. But I do have a mama kangaroo pouch where I had my C-section, so I'm going to kind of try to work it right in there and see what happens. But either way, it smells really, really good, and it seems like it's super hydrating and thick and nice. So I just got a little baby jar of it, but they do sell it in the big jar. So I'm excited to try it because my girlfriend lives by it. Then I got the Tarte Ready Set Radiant, and I've been loving it. I've been eyeing some facial sprays. Um, now that summer's coming, I am a little bit dry. My face is, it tends to be sometimes oily, sometimes by the end of the day, end of wearing a lot of makeup, it does get dry from when I wear like a lot of layers because I love full coverage. Um, so when I do a lot of powders, it does get dry and funny looking. I don't really like that. I don't like it to crease up. So I've been looking for something that's a really good setting. I smelled this one. I smelled the other one from Tarte and that smelled like mojitos, which was amazing because I ended up, it ended up talking me into having a mojito later. Um, and then it was between the Smashbox. I heard rave reviews about the Smashbox. Um, I don't know, the smell of this is what got me. It literally smells like cucumbers and it just smells so fresh. Um, and I don't know, that's what sold me on this. So it was between those two really and this one won. So we'll see how I like it. I just really hope that it keeps my face fresh and hydrated because that's really, really what I want out of it. That's all the things I bought and because the lady kind of felt bad for me, she gave me a bunch of samples. So one of the samples she gave me is the Dior Dream Skin, which is funny because I actually wanted a sample of this. I just didn't think to ask. This is the end of my vlog. I hope you like this video and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you got any of these products. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.